Good afternoon, people of God, Bishop Stess. Just wanted to come to you today, not in the office today, but I wanted to just share some words of encouragement with you. The word of God didn't want a week to go by without acknowledging the Bishop Stess um, and its followers. And just to encourage you briefly in the word of God. Again, as you see, I'm in the confinement of my car once again. And so I just wanted to um, share the word of God with you. Some years ago, uh, Overseer McCullough, she, she allowed the spirit of God to move upon her. And, and the spirit of God gave her Psalms 91, which is so familiar to the people of Community Church Outreach Center because it was given to us as a insurance policy. And so everyone knows what an insurance policy is for. And it's important that you have insurance policies in place in your life in the event of your, your departure from this life. You don't leave your family left without uh, help. And so an insurance policy is in place to help them who you have left behind. And so this is what the word of God is. It's, it's an insurance policy to the people of God. And so there are certain scriptures and verses and chapters in the word of God that you can use and make it uh, apply to your life specifically. And so Overseer McCullough years ago, she gave us Psalms 91, the whole church as the church's insurance policy. And so again, so many of you who are followers of the Bishop's Desk, you're familiar with Psalms 91. Um, a lot of people in the body of Christ, they're familiar with Psalms 91. And so I just wanted to take this, this moment as we are moving into a, a new season um, we're moving into a different space and I just want to encourage you to know that God loves you. God knows your, your feelings. He knows your thoughts. Um, he said that he had plans for you, that, that you would prosper. And so I just wanted to, I just wanted to share a portion of our insurance policy with you on today as a reminder as you're moving into this 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 new season and it's a season where a lot of people they become depressed because it's a season of thanksgiving and a lot of us we have suffered loss and we suffered um some tough times through the year and so it sometimes it's hard to give thanks but god God is is with us and so we always give him thanks and then we move into the the season of giving during Christmas time and and people become depressed because maybe you know relationships have been broken marriages have been divided um, loved ones have gone home with the Lord and so it's it becomes depressing and so the older I get um, I thank God that I'm moving further and further away from these seasonal um, holidays you know because every day with the Lord is a holiday it's a blessing to be um, in that, that number that the word of God speaks about. It's a blessing to be able to acknowledge him all year long. And it's a blessing to be able to come in contact with him through his word. And so I just want to read a few verses from Psalms 91 and just talk about it a little bit and I pray that it encourage you. I pray that it help you through because some people, they love this time of the year. And, and again, it can be tough for some people. And so I just wanna share the word of God with you to help you through these seasons and these tough times that you may be going through. And I get it, I understand, you know? And so the uh, 
David wrote this psalm. Um, And it begins, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God. I'm sorry. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high, forgive me, shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. He that remains, he that stays in the secret place. A lot of people, um, have secret places that they go to. The Bible talks about a man when his deeds are evil. And we know this, that most people that have evil thoughts and evil deeds, they want to be secretive about them. They don't want people to know their thoughts and their deeds. And so they, they stay secret, secretive about this. But there is a secret place in God as well. There's a secret place for the righteous as well. And that place is in the word of God. Oftentimes our, our thoughts and our minds, they, 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 they expose us the things that we think about. They, they expose us and sometimes it causes us anxiety. It causes us grief. And when you are dealing with something of the mind you can't run and hide like you can in the physical in the natural you have to deal with that and the and and it's nowhere to go but for the body of christ even in your mind there's a secret place that you can go when your mind fails you when your thoughts come against you when your heart deceives you you can go into the word of god the word of god is a secret place you can, because the word of God will combat, it will fight against all of the negative thoughts, all of the bad feelings, all of the deception that your mind plays against you. You can go into the word of God and the word of God will speak peace into you. It will speak against every wicked thought that comes against your mind, that comes against what you think about. It becomes the secret place because it's the only thing that can fight against the thoughts of the mind because people can't go into your mind and change the way that you feel or the way you think. Even some of the hurt that you have endured and experienced in this life and that hurt, that pain, it is on your heart daily and you just can't some way seem to get past it. But you can go into the word of God and it will become a secret place. It will fight against the very thought that's in your mind. It will combat the very evil thought that's coming against you. And it becomes a secret place for you. And, and, and it is of the most high God. God created this, the word of God for us to be able to dwell in it, to, to make it a secret place for our mind. Again, in the flesh, if we don't want to be seen, we don't have to be seen. In the flesh, if we want to hide things, we can hide things, but we can't hide from our feelings. We cannot hide from our emotions. We can't hide from the pain that's in us. But God made and he designed the word of God to become a place of refuge for the people of God. And he said, if, if we would do this, if we would dwell there, we would be able to abide there under the shadow, under his shadow, of the almighty because Christ is the almighty. Christ is the only one who has an answer for everything in our lives. He says, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Because when I was going through and when I felt the agony of defeat, it was God who allowed me and gave me the wisdom, the understanding and the hope in the word of God to be able to make it a secret place for me. So because it delivered me from out of my anxiety and my stress and my depression, because it healed me, 
He said, I will say of the Lord, I will acknowledge the Lord that he is my secret place, that he is my refuge. He is the only one that was able to help me in a time of need when the time of need went past my physical because each and every one of us get to a place in our life when we are in need physically and then physical things take care of physical things. People will come and they'll help you in physical situations. But then there comes a time when there's a need that goes past your physical and no man can help you. No doctor can help you. The only doctor that can fix these problems is Dr. Jesus. The only problem, the only thing that can go beyond the physical is the word of God. So he understood this and he said, I will say of the Lord, I will acknowledge of the Lord that he is my refuge and he's my fortress, a fortress a place that will guard you, a place that will protect you, a place that the enemy cannot get beyond to attack you. There is a place in the word of God, if you would dwell there, that the enemy cannot go past. You will have situations and things and incidents will come up against you, but there is a place that you can remain, that you can dwell in the Lord that will become a fortress to you. It it cannot, the walls cannot be broken down. The, the, the wall, an intruder cannot get into the fortress. Why? Because it's guarded by God, because it was created. It was designed by God just for you. And that is of the Lord. And so David says here, I will say of the Lord, I will acknowledge. And that's one of the things that the people of God today that we lack doing, acknowledging with our mouth before the public that it was the Lord that has brought me from a mighty long way. It was the Lord that delivered me. It was the Lord that allowed me to dwell in him, to dwell in this fortress when my when my enemies came up against me, when my mind was failing me, when my health was given up on me. It was the Lord that created this for me. He says, so I will trust in him. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. The things that we go through in this life, they are noisome. They, they, they come against us. They aggravate us and, and, they, and they antagonize us. And this is what the spirits, the evil spirits do. They come to antagonize you. They come to try and easily beset us. But listen, he said, I'm going to acknowledge Christ that I was able when the noisome pestilence came, when the principalities and the wickedness and the dark places came, when the, when, when, when the situations arose in my life and I couldn't find peace, it was the Lord thy God who became my fortress and him will I trust because he's been the only one that's been consistent in our lives. He's been the only one that has been consistent in our relationship. You've never been in a relationship that has been so consistent like the relationship that you've been in with Christ Jesus. So it will behoove each and every one of us that while we're going through and while we're living this life and while we're pilgrims in a strange land, that we will continue to remain consistent unto the Lord because he's the only one that has been consistent to us. Bible says he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And this, this is, this is facts that if you would dwell in him, that he will cover you. This is what you're learning about your insurance policy. And most of us, we, we let the, the agent sit us down and talk to us about our insurance policy. And he tells us the value. All we want to know is what the insurance going to pay out. But we don't understand the fine print of the insurance policy. Some of the things that, some of the advantages that you have in your insurance policy. Some of the benefits that, that that's in this policy. All you're worried about is when I die, now that you can't even benefit from it. And those who are left behind will benefit from it. But that's all you're worried about. But sometimes there are some insurance policies that you can benefit from before you die. This is a whole life policy. 
policy, a policy that you can withdraw from right now. You don't have to wait until you're dead to, to for somebody else to reap all of the money that you've paid into the policy, but you can go into this policy right now if you're in need right now and you can withdraw from this policy right now because this is a living policy and we know that Jesus Christ came and when he delivered the new and living covenant, the new and living way unto the people of God through the veil of his flesh, we know that we can withdraw from the policy right now and so this is what Psalms 90 one is saying to you, you don't have to wait until you die, that the next time you are faced with trials, tribulations, and things have come against you, and you have been sideswiped by uh, uh, just life itself, that you can be confident and you can be sure that you can go into your insurance policy and you can get what you need, and your insurance policy, it will cover you. It is a full you have full coverage through this policy. He say, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. It doesn't matter what you're going through, whether it's in your mind, your insurance policy covers that. Whether it's in your flesh, your insurance policy covers that. Whether you've been hit by your enemy, your insurance policy, it covers that. It doesn't matter whatever you're dealing with, whatever circumstance that you're faced with in this life, your insurance policy, it covers that. It is a full coverage policy and it's active right now and you don't have to there and it, there's no copayment the copayment has already been paid there's no deductible the deductible has already been paid with the blood of Jesus Christ all you have to do is go into your policy and find out what your policy say that you and the requirements that you must need to be able to withdraw from this policy and the and the first requirement that you must have to be able to withdraw from this policy, you must have a heart of repentance and you must have a heart full of love. And this is the access into the policy because sometimes people set up passwords and forget their passwords and can't even get into their policy. But if you have the heart of repentance and if you have a heart of love, this will automatically allow you into the policy. You know, they have this th new thing now that ha that says face identity where you put your phone up to your face because you don't forgot all your passwords, but the phone recognizes your face and it will allow you access into your device. Well, the love that's in your heart and the repentance unto salvation, it is just like face identity. When God see you and when he hear your voice and you're crying, Abba, Father, I need your help right now. Your identity is already recognized based on the repentance of your heart because God doesn't look at our heart, our face. He looks at the intent of our heart and the abundance of love that's in us. And so now you automatically can go into your policy. When the doctor give you a, 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 a diagnosis that is not sitting well with you, you can go right into the insurance policy and it's covered. I had a situation that I had to go to the doctor for and my body and it was bothering me real recently. And, I, and, and listen, I went into the insurance policy way before because I knew I was covered and I went to God and I said, God give me a favorable answer when I go to the doctor and I went to the doctor and the answer was favorable. Why? Because it was covered under the insurance policy. Why? Because I've repented unto my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why? Because I have an abundance of love in my heart to them who I know and to them who I don't know. And so now I'm in my insurance policy and I'm reaping the benefits of my policy. He said, thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that fleeth by day. I have no issues of concerns or fear that my policy is going to cover this. Sometimes we, 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 
we, we, we, we, we allow fear to grip us when we don't know if the policy going to cover when we, because we didn't read the policy because we didn't come familiar with the policy. No. So now we're fearful and, and we don't know if we're going to be covered, but there was no fear in me because I knew I was already covered. He said, so I'm, you shouldn't be afraid. He said, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Because see, there are some things, there are some principalities, there are some wickedness that's in dark places, that's just waiting for an opportunity to, to, to try to, to destroy you or try to aggravate you or try to grab hold on you. But look, he said, don't be afraid of those things. Don't be afraid of the things that you can't see in darkness. And don't be afraid of the destruction that wasteth at noonday. It's a waste because during the new day, a new day, God is going to give you new mercies. This is why the destruction wasteth at noon, noonday because I am walking in new mercies. So the destruction, it is a waste. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Things are going to happen all around you, but it is not going to bother you. Why? Because you're protected. You have coverage that, that, that's protecting you. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. You're going to be able to see people who don't have insurance and who's not covered under the policy. They're going to be destroyed because they're not covered within the policy. They didn't have a heart of repentance. They wasn't filled with an abundance of love. And so when these things come, you're going to see them destroyed because their policy doesn't cover them. There shall no evil befall thee. Because no, because thou has made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Because you have chosen the right policy, because you have invested into a whole life policy, because you have gotten a policy that will cover you in this life and it will cover you in the life to come after this life. Listen, so now the things in this life, they're covered under the blood of Jesus. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Nothing is going to come that's a surprise to you. That's, nothing is going to come that's not covered under the policy, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways everything that happened god is going to cover it they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder the young lion and the dragon shall thou trample under feet all of these trials and tribulations these tricks of the enemy that's trying to play against your mind. The cover, see, the policy covers it and you're going to be able to tread upon it. Why? Because you're sure, because you know that your anchor, it holds in Christ Jesus. Why? Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, will I deliver him? He said it. Whatever you're going through, he's going to deliver you from it. I will set him on high because he have known my name, because we acknowledge the name of of Jesus Christ. He shall call upon me and what he's going to do. And I will answer him. I, you're not going to get a voicemail. You're not going to get all these options that you have to punch to get to the right person. There's only one person and his name is Jesus. There's only one option and that option is Jesus. There's only one deliverer and his name is Jesus. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. Will I satisfy him and show him my salvation? This is the Bishop's Desk. I pray that you have happy holiday. I pray that God bless you. I pray that God continue, continue to cover you. I pray that you continue to acknowledge Christ Jesus in your life, that you can remain covered under the insurance policy, Psalms 91. This is the Bishop's Desk. Again, next week, we'll be back into the office and I pray that you have a great week on this week. And I pray that the word of God encouraged you. And look, keep striving in Christ. Whatever happens in your life, don't give up on Christ. Whatever comes your way, keep trusting in the Lord. Lean not to thy own understanding, 
but in all your ways acknowledge him and the bible said he will guide your footsteps and we're living in a time now where we need the lord we need the lord more to guide us god bless you this is the bishop's desk may heaven smile upon you and if it's the lord's will i'll see you next week i just had i just had to share the word with you god bless you